Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lenny Byrne, and I'm the Chief Nurse and Director of Integrated Professions here at Durford Hospital. Um, so first of all, I'd just like to say a massive thanks to everybody for the support that they have given to us here at the hospital over the last 15 or 16 months. It's been a really difficult time for everybody and we've tried to keep going to serve the community in the best way that we know how um, in the middle of a really difficult pandemic and we couldn't have done that without your support. So I know that uh, Monday the 19th of July is coming and it's probably a eureka moment for lots of people thinking it marks the end of um, a very long 16 months and the opportunity for life to go back to normal and we want to support that in our home lives and in the community um, but we still do need your help so on Monday um, while all restrictions are lifted in the hospital our standard of social distancing uh, and management of the restrictions are to a level of uh, infection prevention and control management so we will continue here within the hospital uh, to prioritise the safety of our patients, of our visitors and of our staff. So some of the restrictions that you will have seen in place um, in other locations like the supermarket or in other venues, um, whilst they might stop on Monday, they won't stop here. Um, so we will still expect people to wear surgical masks which are supplied at the entrances to all of the entrances to the hospital um, for you to wear throughout your visit and we would ask you to do that to uh, support us here in the hospital in containing any risk of infection to the best of our ability. We would also ask you to continue to use hand gels where they are um, also at entrances and exits to both the main building and if you're going into any of the clinical areas um, and also to wash your hands with hot soap and water where that is a possibility and you're asked to do that. We will also be asking patients to continue to come to appointments on their own. However, if you absolutely need to have somebody with you or a carer, we will obviously accommodate that to support you. Um, the other thing that we will ask you to do is we will continue to do checks as you arrive at the hospital so you may be asked by somebody whether you have had a history of any of the symptoms of COVID-19. They will also potentially take your temperature and they will also ask you whether or not you have had any history of foreign travel recently. As the holiday opportunities begin to increase um, that would become a very important thing for us to assess and continue to look at as you arrive in the hospital because of the risk of variant strains of COVID-19. Um, and the reason that we're doing all this is primarily to keep patients safe. The hospital is someplace that needs doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, scientists and technicians managers and everybody else that comes into work every day to do their job to be able to do so so we need to protect the workforce that's here to protect and keep you safe so the best way to do that is to maintain the social distancing restrictions and infection control procedures that we've had in place for the last 16 months that means sure that we have staff that are capable of coming to work to look after you when you're sick and you need us the most um, so we would ask you to follow our social distancing and infection control practices as you've done so well for the last 16 months and to bear with us while we continue to keep those in place while we manage COVID-19 because although we're releasing social distancing restrictions across the country, COVID-19 is still here and we're trying to manage it at the moment. So please help us to help you and support us in our ability to keep patients, visitors and our staff safe um, for the population of Plymouth and the wider surroundings. Thank you very much.